This is the first time food being produced with negative carbon impact. We are revolutionizing the way we do it and what we eat for food. The way we think about food production is most of the biomass that was harvested isn't food. It's just an infrastructure needed to make the ingredient that we use for food. In the E2F system, we are growing microalgae. So instead of only a fraction of this biomass becomes the food that you eat, all of it is used for food. You need to get CO2 to the algae because they are a water organism. They cannot use CO2 in a gaseous form. So you have to dissolve the CO2 in water. And that's where Atlas Copco comes in. We need the Atlas Copco air handlers and compressors to compress the air and get it back into our system. They use the low pressure compressed air. So we have special compressors for that. They are oil free, so they are food safe. We capture all the air and we recycle it. So when we buy 100 units of CO2, 80 become algae. We work together with uh, Sindri, that is our distributor here in Iceland. The collaboration started really small, uh, I think with two smaller compressors. Then Baxa wanted uh, something bigger and Atlas Copco stepped in and came with better solutions. In total, they have now three big units and they have about uh, seven smaller units. Now we are ready to scale. If you want X much of this biomass, you get one box. If you want 10 times that, you get 10 boxes. We have from the small size to the big size, so we can actually grow together with uh, Vaxa. We are able to offer it to food companies for them to use portfolio-wise. It has no smell and it has no taste. You put the spirulina into your food, the nutritional value increases, and because we are integrated with a geothermal power plant, our production is slightly carbon negative.